All right, so let's talk about installing the Blur Dev Tools. Now, I have to state this is not a requirement. Um, on some level, you are opening yourself up to a world of pain. However, <laughs> um, I will be using these tools, so if you would like, you are welcome to download this and give it a try. Uh, be warned, though, there is an an issue with the installation right now and we are trying to figure it out um, as of recording this video I will be taking my personal box into the studio and working with the developers to try to figure out what exactly is going on why other people are having issues outside of the studio and we are not inside of the studio so I'm hoping to do that this week and perhaps by the time we start the course I will have an answer to uh, this problem and uh, we can avoid this. However, uh, that being said, in the event that we have not yet figured it out, you still are able to use some of the tools which are still very cool and offer some functionality outside of the ordinary Macs that I would recommend and I recommend for organization's sake. Uh, it should be noted that the Blur Dev Tools, these are all free tools. There are a ton of scripts that uh, we give away at Blur, and they're free for use uh, for the public. You can use them at your studio, wherever you would like. As I said at the moment, however, there is an issue with it, but we are trying to get that resolved, and hopefully we'll have that resolved soon. Now. What do I mean, Blur Dev Tools? This is, it's basically a compiling of a lot of tools. And let me find the website here. Okay, so you can Google Blur Dev Tools and you will find it is the first one that comes up here. So it's our library and tools, and you will be brought to this SourceForge or code.google. Uh, page what you want to do is you want to download this I will be running max 2014 and it is required that you have Python 2.7 and PyWin I'm going to show you guys both of these uh, but before you can install this you need those dependencies met first um, so I run a 32-bit install and we also have Python 2.7 so this guy right here that I'm showing blur offline Python 2.7 install 64-bit if you are running a system similar to me so that is uh, 3ds max 2014 64-bit uh, with Python 2.7 installed you will want to install this uh, you're welcome to try to use Python 2.4 and Python 2.6 I have no experience with those. I don't recommend it, but if you're feeling frisky, go for it. Uh, however, those of you who would prefer to play it safe, I would recommend you download this here. When you download this, you'll get an installer. You basically just hit next, next, next. Um, nothing complicated to it. However, you must, must install Python 2.7 uh, 5 or later 2. Point, only 2.7 though. Don't install Python 3 thinking that it will work. It must be Python 2.7.5 or later. There are multiple releases after this. There's 2.7 point as you can imagine, 0. 0.6, uh, 2.7 point no big mystery. What's next? 0. 0.7. So I would recommend starting with 2.7.5 as that is the tool or that is what the tool was compiled and made for. Uh, you can go again here you can Google Python and the very first guy python.org you will go here and you can go to the downloads and you will see there are lots of release versions and dates and whatnot and you can just scroll through this and you will see Python 2.7.5 you want to download that 
and you can come through you can see all the stuff and um, you are presumably a 64-bit install right you're running Mac 64-bit so we're going to install Python 64-bit so you'll want this Windows x86 64 MS I installer so you will download that and you will install that before you install the blur dev tools also before you install the blur dev tools I really want to iterate before uh, you will download this Python for Windows this is uh, PyWin or Python win this guy you should be able to Python for Windows we want PyWin Python for Windows extensions that should bring you to here nope <laughs> this guy is a little bit trickier to find uh, I had it up uh, what was it maybe it's win Python let's see no <laughs> do 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 do, do. Pi win I win. Ah, there we go. All right. I think it's taking us to the link we were already at. Nice. We want to download this. Okay, jeez. <laughs> All right, guys. So, what you want? You can Google. Let's do this again. Pi win. All right. You will get this first guy here, Python for Windows. So, obviously, if you're having a hard time, don't feel bad. You will come to Files you will click on this PyWin32 that doesn't there is still a 64-bit installer for this and I picked the top build and you want where is it here we go PyWin32 2.9 win AMD 64 Py2.7.exe so we want a 2.7 to coincide to our Python 2.7 installation. Very important. If you install the latest and greatest, your stuff will not work. If you install Python 3.1, your stuff will not work. Um, so Py 2.7, that's what you want. So you will download this and install this. So first, what I would recommend, download and install Python. Second, download and install PyWin32219 win blah blah blah. Uh, next, download and install the Blur Dev Tools. Once you have all of that, you will be able to open your trusty Mac session and you will not have this. So you will see this new dude, Python. And you can click on him and you will be able to say tree grunt so tree grunt this is the tool we use at blur that accesses uh, inside of Max all of our uh, scripts and tools that we use on a daily basis there are uh, baking tools converting v-ray camera tools um, adding data to our cameras um, point cache tools there's a whole slew of um, super handy stuff in here now what most people don't know is what the tools are and what are the useful things so I'm hoping over the course of this uh, over the course of the course you will learn some of these get familiar with them 
and have a better understanding of what exactly is in here and what are the things you might want to use and what things you can discard. Uh, one that some of you guys might be familiar with is the onion. At the moment, as I said, things are, are busted. You cannot use this onion here. This first one, you want to use the onion. This is the hot shit. This new onion, this is the one that we will want to use. I'm trying to get it fixed so we'll be able to. But in lieu of that, we can still use this onion. This is a way more organized layer setup than your typical max um, layer, more uh, AutoCAD based uh, POS. So this allows you to have groups and nested layers inside of groups, uh, which you can access. A good example of that is um, this is the layout file for the waterfall that I did and you can see here I've got you know steps subgroups inside and each one of these you can add layers and those layers can have alternate properties each of those uh, groups has lots of sub layers this will allow for a much more organized scene so you will see I will be using this um, you are absolutely allowed to use this but you will be beholden to the good old-fashioned um, you know uh, apostrophes lights to keep things up at the top and organized as opposed to making groups and being able to organize these layers and drag one down and uh, move things around in a fashion that uh, makes a little bit more sense. Now this is the older clunkier interface for uh, the onion. The new one you can simply click and drag and move stuff around. It's actually pretty awesome. So my hope is that we'll get that going. Worst case we will have this which is really you know not uh, not so shabby all things considered. So what else will you get? Let's look behind door number three. Uh, quick render let me just do quick and the other cool thing too here is you can heart these guys you can say like I love you quick render um, and what were we just at before onion and we can heart that one then when we come here to the things we love we have quick render so what is this this is basically if you are not super familiar with V-Ray um, this might be a nice way for you to start to dive in. Some of the controls are over overwritten, um, and it's a easy way for you to also, if you are very familiar with V-Ray, quickly turn on and on, on and off things, depth of field, motion blur. You want to do a render that's going to be uber fast. Um, you can specify sampling, or you can turn this off and let quick render do it, and in which case your render will be very quick specify noise threshold, uh, half your light cache, so it'll only process a 50% light cache. So if you are set to 1000, you'll only be set to 500. Um, and then you can also up here specify the percentage size of your render. This will do a render in the V-Ray frame buffer and it will not save your image. So what's nice about that is you can set everything up here for what your final image is going to be. You can have things uh, saved, you can have output specified, you can have your uh, final quality, min and max, all of that stuff. This quick render does not touch this stuff. Uh, if you want it to, it can access it, and if you're looking to do tests, you can say override the samples. I'm trying to figure out what my min and max will be. You can say I want a one min and maybe I want to do um, max 16 or something like that right and then you can mess with your noise threshold or uh, color threshold whichever you are uh, feeling inclined to use we will talk about the difference or using one or the other uh, down the road but this gives, this gives you a nice way of doing renders and not affecting your final settings 
and not saving an image. So once you get something dialed in, you can come back over to here, you can place it in your setup and continue working uh, as you like. So that is Quick Render. These will be the two, Onion and Quick Render, those are going to be the uh, brunt of uh, what you will see me use. There are many, many more. So I'm sure there will be questions to the Blur Dev Tools. There always are. Uh, do your best. And again, I will iterate. Um, install Python 2.7. Install PyWin with a associated 2.7-64-bit uh, install. Then install Blur Dev Tools. Okay, very important in that order. All right, guys, see you in the next lesson.